All right, guys, it's Halloween night. Let's start talking about some horror. Hello, everyone, it's like a tree is here, and I welcome you to this new video. Today, we are going to talk about Chris Raw Needle Fiber, the new Link Month that has been announced for Link Rains Pack two weeks ago, which I already made a smaller video of, but I need to talk about this for Chris Tron. This is now necessary because I have had some time to play with Needle Fiber in Crystrons and in other decks and I have come to the conclusion that Crystron Needle Fiber is a pretty great card. It's just not very usable in Crystrons. And I am now here to back up this thought of mine, this opinion of mine, with this video and with a stream that will be coming on Saturday, but more about that later. Alright, Crystal Needle Fiber. For those who don't remember, if this card is Link Summit, you can special summon one level 3 or lower tuner from your hand or deck in defense position, but its effects cannot be activated this turn. During your opponent's main or battle phase, quick effect, you can banish this card, special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. This is treated as a synchro summon. And you can only use each effect of Crystal Needle Fiber once per turn. Well, I have said in the past that it's quite generic, it summons the Crystal Tuners, has, uh, can summon Quan decks and stuff. And I also said it's easy to link summon. And I'm not going to say that I've said something wrong. It is easy to link summon. It is incredibly easy to link summon. The big problem with this, however, is that even though this card is easy to link summon in most decks, not especially now with this little bugger being limited, Crystal Needle Fiber is such a pain in the ass to summon in Crystrons without using a Crystron Tuner because you need your Crystron Tuners in the deck. You need to use your Crystron Tuners for Crystron Synchros and or yeah for Crystron and or Machine Synchros and even though Needle Fiber is basically a one card Synchro monster you still don't get the same setup as you using C3 to, uh, to Synchro Summon Quan decks like normally like if you summon Needle Fiber, you don't have a C3 banish, you don't have a Preziolo banish, so you cannot use Impact to bring back one of these two cards. You cannot just go out and make your combo bigger because Needle Fiber sent them to the graveyard. Yeah, you can basically still use Preziolo from the graveyard, but the bigger problem is it is not even in the graveyard. And yeah, that is a problem. And it is actually rather a big pro problem because Crystron is mostly about like resource management and like, and also all that kinds of stuff. So it's important to have the effects of a non-tuners in mind and to be able to play out these effects. I mean, Crystal Needle Fiber is a pretty good card in terms of bringing cards into the graveyard, but most of the time you're just using a one crystal non-tuner that could be anything and a crystal tuner that should not be C3 or Rion, so it has to be Quan, in order to summon crystal needle fiber, then crystal needle fiber summons something else, but the problem is that you will not, in the most situations, first of all you will most likely be using a mill monster to actually uh, some of this part as, uh, as a non-tuner material because it still requires at least one tuner but two monsters and yeah that's already a problem and <coughs> basically you don't have the crystal monsters in the graveyard and you need the graveyard effects to pop off to have the consistency you need in this archetype however without having them in the graveyard you cannot get that. You cannot have a consistency. You cannot have a first run search, a Smiger search, a Preziolo special summon, or even a Rosenix token. That is sometimes, yeah, sometimes the Rosenix token does come up, and that's a great thing. But Chris Ron Needle Fiber gives you nothing of those. It just gives you a Juna Synchro Monster in your opponent's turn that you can summon together with some setup in your opponent's turn, anyways. So it has great effects, but. Looking at it just in theory, it is okay, its effects are really great, but it's dragged down by the simple fact that the materials go to the graveyard and you require at least one tuner, which you don't want to use. Usually you just summon this with Gofu and a token, but with Gofu at 1 now, as I mentioned earlier, that will be a bit more of a problem. <coughs> and basically your other options are using a hand trap and please. Do not use Ghost Order to summon Needle Fiber. <laughs> so, with all this being granted, 
And yeah, I'm not saying sad because this was a rant so far. I'm going to show you three deck lists I have made up so far with Crystrons in this new format. Please don't pay too much attention to the side deck. I use the side deck in the um, simulators more to look into card options rather than to have an actual side deck. So the side decks for this, ver for this version is not really relevant to that degree. This is, a cr this is the first crystal list I made with both uh, Scrappy Sucker and Undyne. You know how I am, I just play uh, normal, uh, normal Scrap Recycler in my builds and I have been pretty happy with that in the past and I am still pretty happy with it nowadays. But I just wanted to try that out because I feel like after testing another version without Genex Undyne, which I will show you later, um, that Genex Undyne is actually needed in the deck in order to, uh, to bring out Needle Fiber in a semi-okay way because uh, Undyne can dump Rosenix for uh, the controller, you banish Rosenix for the token, you make the token into a Link Spider, special summon controller from your hand, controller plus Link, plus link Spider uh, is Needle Fiber. That is okay. However, you have to keep in mind that for Needle Fiber you need a lot of different uh, Tuna Synchro and System x rack to make its effect count. It, is, uh, it treats the synchro, uh, this monster special summons as being summoned for a Synchro Summon. So it does trigger from Yola Synchron and TG1 the Magician and it can summon Livestream Dragon which is the most strange of all. But it does trigger those two cards, however you sacrifice not just your Link Spot but also another spot for the Link Spider. Usually you just have one Link Spot in Crystrons, if even. You can run two Link Monsters but that's kinda hard. Like you sacrifice too much extra deck space and Crystal extra decks are already tight as hell. And basically you have to sacrifice those two spaces and you have to sacrifice at least one space for either formula and Wonder Magician and since we, this already requires me to get rid of the Cyber Dragon and Infinity Engine I can just dump both in because in, at this point it doesn't even really matter anymore. And this is something that is not as great. You are forced to play this engine to summon this relatively consistently and you still need to sacrifice way more extra deck space than you even want to. I have this second list that does not run Jax Undyne, but because of that, summoning Needle Fiber in this version is quite a bitch. I really need to run the Quan in this build and I do not like that fact at all. Because I need to use Quan, a real hard death draw if you draw it, in order to summon Needle Fiber, and still you don't get the um, setup you want. You will not have a Preziolo Banish, you will not have even Preziolo in the graveyard, so you most likely just get like a, a Stardust Warrior, maybe. <coughs> if you're lucky, you get a Stardust Warrior, but all in all, this is just not as fun or not as good. I wanted to go for less um, like monster space waste because of uh, in favor of more traps, as you can see. So going further with, with this deck ends in more disruption. So in that uh, situation, I went for a double mathematician because that's also a two in the TCG. But to my um, sadness, basically, this is way too hard to summon in that regard. So I have come to the conclusion, and this is this deck, do I really need to run a Link Monster? No. What is a Link Monster for in this deck? To extend plays and to give us more um, setup. What does Needle Fiber try to do but sadly fails at giving us the resource management for its, ex uh, for its play extension? It does give us the play extension and that is what I really like about the card. This card can give us more plays. However, coincidentally, this card is also not giving us any consistency. It does not drop a Fistler, it does not drop a Smiger. If it had one effect that drops a monster from a deck to a graveyard, it would be so broken for Crystrons. But as a matter of fact, it doesn't. And that, that makes this card so bad in Crystrons that I am actually really bad, at, uh, really sad about it because using a tuner for its summon is already a sad thing and 
doing Tristrons because you have to use either a Gofen token or a hand trap or a Tristron uh, tuner. And you really don't want to use Ryan, you really don't want to use C3, so you are kind of sad about that already. And yeah, as I said, that's just bad. However, that still doesn't mean that Needle Fiber is a bad card. I have made multiple decks. I have made like Rocket and I use Needle Fiber and Rocket. I have made Dinosaur Invoked and I use Needle Fiber and Dinosaur Invoked. By the way, on the stream I will also play Dino, uh, Dino Invoked. I have made Vendred and I even have a, <laughs> have a Needle Fiber and Vendred. Also I still have a free go from Vendred, that has to change. But all in all, Needle Fiber is a great card. Uh, let's go for this first. However, it does not help us with our strategy and that is what is bad about this card. It is a very very good card for many many decks, in, but it's just not good for Tristrons. It is not what Tristrons want to have, or rather it is what Tristrons want to have, but it is not enough. And that is the sad reality about Tristron Needle Fiber. And I hope this video kinda helped you understanding this. Like, I can rant about it for far longer, but I don't want to make my videos longer than 15 minutes. And we're already at 11 minute mark, and I still have one more thing to talk about. But this is what, this is my conclusion. And this is just an experimentalist, by the way. Don't get mad at me for not running Master Boy. Maybe it comes back, maybe not. I just want to test this list. And yeah, this has been everything for for the Crystal part. Now for the stream announcement. I will have a stream in which I will play Crystrons and other decks that use that, that I build that use Needle Fiber to show you that Needle Fiber is a great card, but it's just not that usable in Crystrons. I will use all three versions of Crystrons that I have post uh, that I have shown here, and I will use both or all of the decks. Like I will use a Vendor deck, I will use Dino Invoked, and I will use Rocket. So I have six decks basically for the stream. Three crystal decks and three other decks with needle fiber to show you that needle fiber is a great card, but just not in crystal. The event three will be on Saturday. Um, I am not really sure. I think it will be 10 p.m. Central European time. Please check what it is. We we just recently went from Central European summer time back to Central European time, so we went basically an hour back in time. And yeah, just so you know that has happened. And. That's just for your information. All right, but I have talking. I've been talking for like way too long right now. Thank you all, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I want to have your opinions underneath this video as well. This has just been me ranting about my thoughts about this thing. You have your thoughts. I want to know your thoughts. We can make this discussion live on, but we have to do it together. So please comment and. Fire up some discussion down there, you know I answer everything. This has been your Arcatrius, and stay Raven. Thank you guys.